Hi, this is Brady. We're at a house with a red modem. We're going to be using the Effigis pressure test kit in order to identify where the impairment in either the drop or the home is. So we have the uh, pedestal here. First thing we'll be doing is disconnecting from the pedestal the wrench. Going to disconnect the drop from the pedestal. Then we take the Ephesus pressure test unit here, and so this is the drop going to the subscriber's home. And when you put that on, make sure you wrench tighten onto there. Turn our pressure kit on. To the high level, you should see a green ring around there when that's on the high level. And now we are pressurized. We're putting signals into the home. You shouldn't get much at all leakage off of here, provided this connector is good. We're getting a small amount of leakage, 33 microvolts. It is telling us a little bit of signal leaking from these connectors, but not much. In the 30 to 40 microvolt per meter range, that's not bad, not ideal. Getting a little bit of leakage from these connectors, but we're looking for a bigger leak. So we know that the line runs somewhere between here and into this house. Uh, on the antenna here, there's a donut pattern. And that gives us sort of directionality. So we can run and sort of walk the line. You see we're getting zero to one microvolts per meter. We can just start wandering around. And if we pick up any leakage, that's what we're looking for that tells us maybe there's a break in the coax line. I'm starting to get two microvolts per meter. It's telling us we're getting close. So oftentimes you don't know exactly where the line is running. Two microvolts per meter. It is a buried drop. Two microvolts, two microvolts, three microvolts, five microvolts, seven microvolts. So this, so as this number starts to go up, now we're up to eight microvolts per meter. This is telling us we're getting closer to a leak. Six, seven, 11, 19, 23. So this shows that it is possible to find a, a, some sort of impairment in a buried drop. 53, 83, 88 microvolts. Now we're up to 160, 190, 180. Okay, so we just passed where the impairment is because now our leakage is dropping down. So I'm gonna go back. Remember, as I said, there is a donut pattern around this antenna, so it's directional to the leak in this plane. So I'm gonna go back, now we're at 220, 210, 220, 200. So the, it seems like the leaks is strongest right in this direction. So I'm gonna take my wrench, put it that way, because we know the leak is somewhere here. Could be over there, could be back here. What I'm gonna do now is turn the meter this way and walk back up and we can triangulate then on exactly where the leak. So now back here, I'm at 14 microvolts per meter. It tells me the leak's not here. I'm gonna start walking this way. 17, now I'm up to 22 microvolts, 24, 30, 47, 51, 49, 73, 70, 65, 78, 76, 95, 90. Okay, so now it's starting to drop down. Now if I, so that, that tells me I've gone beyond the leak. So I wanna start walking back till it max out. So I'm gonna get a little closer now. So there's 280, 300 microvolts per meter. I back up, 270, 240. So it's starting to drop down. 280, 310, 
300. So 310. So our max is right here. So this is where a wrench was when I found the leak this way. And this is where our leak is. So I put this right here. Our leak is right in this area underneath this stone. So the coax cable's running through here. Okay, so here's the leak again. We're just about a thousand microvolts per meter and that's a leak that's underground. We have permission from the homeowner to go ahead and lift up this stone and take a look at what's going on under there. Fortunately, it's a light stone. And let's see what's going on. Gently. There's the cable. Looks like there. It's a black cable. No. It's no, it's orange an orange cable, cable with electrical tape around it. Okay, so we see what our problem is here. There is some electrical tape on that cable. So we can, uh, we can tell that this cable has been damaged and it looks like it has been repaired with electrical tape rather than having a, a proper splice put on here. Uh, obviously holding the leakage meter on here, we're seeing very high levels of leak. Uh, electrical tape is not going to be water sealed. It's not a proper fix for this coax cable. So we are going to uh, need to have a new drop put in here on this, but this is clearly the reason for the micro reflection, the reason that this modem is likely red, and uh, this is not a proper field repair. So this is the reason we're having issues on this particular home. Thank you. Okay, last thing. Once you've found your impairment, don't forget to come back and get your pressure test meter uh, obviously, you'd be doing that when you're replacing your drop, but uh, turn off your pressure test meter. Never inject signal back into your plant. You never want to connect your pressure test meter directly to the tap. You'll be injecting very high level signals into your plant. That will knock other subscribers offline, so that is an important tip you want to make sure to remember. So we are done at this location. We, run, we will run a new drop and we'll get this subscriber back online and happy.